Hey what's up guys, Nexi here, back from Minecraft Pocket Shift video, and today's video is going to be an update video where I'm going to be going through all the hinted at or confirmed features for Minecraft Pocket Edition Update 0.8.0 that's going to be coming out sometime in the future, we don't know exactly when yet, but I'll be talking about all the new additions, tweaks, and the most probable release date for this update, and the bug fixes as well, I forgot to mention that. And as I'm going through all these different features and all this different stuff, I'm actually going to have proof or pictures of these uh, things or the, the tweets that developers tweeted or the uh, bug fix um, thingy and in the word shows like the description of the bug fix and stuff that it'll be all in the background as this video is going on so uh, you know just stay tuned keep looking at your screen uh, but yeah let's just get straight into it first off we're gonna go with the new additions and the new update and first one our first things we're gonna be going to is blocks now the first thing is there will be possibly ice in the creative inventory now um, before, as, as we know, even right now, we don't have ice in the creative inventory. And how now we know that there's a chance for there to be ice in the creative inventory is because someone on Reddit asked, um, I want to build something with ice spikes, but ice is in there in the creative inventory. In creative inventory, Should it be there? I checked countless time on a, I'm an iOS, am I an idiot, and it's there. Or is it just not in creative inventory yet? Um, now, J. Bernhardsen, or Johan Bernhardsen, later replied, that we didn't have space for it, but we will soon. So, you know, soon could mean really anything. It means could mean that, you know, they're going to add it in 0.8.0 or they're going to add it in some middle update for like 0.7.6 or something like that. We don't know, uh, but it's a good chance that it will actually be added in 0.8.0, which would be pretty cool uh, since they're actually planning on adding other things in 0.8.0. So uh, we never know, but I think it's probable that the ice will be put in the creative inf inventory in the upcoming 0.8.0 update. Now this new addition is going to be really big, I, I, everybody is excited for it, I know I am, and this is the fact that they might be adding 0.8.0 rails. Um, now, we, we, people were on Reddit as well, uh, once again, and some guy asked, DocMine7 was like, uh, and when when will rails will be when will rails be added? And Johan replied, soon, uh, this other guy asked, so when can we expect redstone of rails and other stuff, 0.8.0, 0.9.0? Um, now this is you know this is regarding 0.8.0, but Redstone say they're saying it'll be after 0.8.0. But the important thing here in this tweet, since this is a video about 0.8.0, is that Johan replied saying Rails in 0.8.0. So that's pretty freaking awesome. We'll finally have Rails in 0.8.0, um, and that's just gonna be pretty freaking sweet. Also, another thing is that the Rails in 0.8.0. Um, there won't, since redstone won't be my, or usable anyway, until 0.9.0, what there'll be is you can create two type of rails, there'll be the normal rails and the powered rails. I'm not sure how they're going to be doing it yet, but that's how it's going to work. We're going to have the powered rails and the normal rails somehow created without using redstone. So that's interesting on how they're going to do it, but they are going to do it and we'll see soon when it comes out. Now onto the new items that they'll be adding in 0.8.0. Alright guys, so now, uh, this guy on Reddit once again asks, how will Rails work in 0.8 without Redstone? Now we already went through this, you know, there'll be some sort of way um, the powered Rails will be created, they'll, they'll be always powered. Um, and some guy replied asking, as you can see right here, he was like, does this mean we can finally mine Redstone so we can at least store it somewhere? And Johan replied of yes, so that means we can finally mine Redstone, we don't have to, you know, uh, just avoid it or you know break it or whatever when we're mining we can actually finally gather it up save it up for the 0.9.0 update it'll be pretty freaking sweet i'm so excited for redstone but right now it won't be able to you to be used we can just mine it and finally have it in our inventory so it's gonna be pretty cool and i'm pretty excited for that now another thing is uh, as we know that we'll be adding rails in minecraft pocket edition we already know that now that was only logical that they were actually going to be also adding minecarts it's, it's just logical it's obvious that they'll be adding minecarts and they're going to be adding rails. So that's another confirmed feature. There is no official evidence of them saying they're adding minecarts, but they are adding rails. So they, they it's, it's a 99% thing. They're probably going to add minecarts in the next upcoming 0 0.8.1 Minecraft updates, which would be pretty freaking sweet. We can, you know, make real roller coasters finally, Minecraft Pocket Edition, and I'm, it's going to be pretty cool, I think. Another item that they have uh, sort of confirmed for 0 0.8.0, um, or they have confirmed for 0 0.8.0 is flint and steel in creative now a lot of people have been wanting this for a very long time so they can blow up tnt in creative they've actually probably wanted it i've actually wanted it since tnt was added into the game and finally tomaso chechi as you can see on twitter right here um he replies to this guy uh shady bees you can see here he asked flint and steel in creative and tomaso was like nope but that'll be in 0.8 Eight, or he didn't actually put 0.8.0, but it'll be 0 
is 0.8. Do not despair. So that's pretty awesome that we're actually going to have flint and steel finally, you know, blow stuff up, make, I don't know, mines or something and create it, which would be pretty cool. It will help with map making and things like that. So map makers prepare for this cool feature that we finally add into Minecraft Auction Creative. Um, and this also makes me think that you know, if they're going to add um, flint steel, like they, they confirm flint steel, I think they can easily add ice into creative inventory. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to be adding ice and flint and steel, so far as we know, to the creative inventory in 0.8.0. Also, they mentioned this somewhere, I'm not exactly sure where, but they will be adding a new creative menu. Um, I guess this is to like help fit all the new things they're going to be adding, uh, such as flint and steel and ice, as we discussed. But there will be a new menu as well. I'm not sure how it's going to look like. They haven't already said anything about it or tweeted the picture of it, but there will be a new creative menu. We know this uh, from one of the bug fix trackers, whatever. I'm not exactly sure, but just trust me, it'll they'll have a new creative menu as they, they're saying right now. All right, next thing is something that Tommaso Cecchi tweeted out. Um, what he tweeted out was, finally, this might be a legit screen from 0.8. Lots of changes. Also, it's running on just an iPad mini now. And as you can see, he tweeted out a picture where you can see much further. You, can, you don't see any fog in the background. Um, so this, you know, shows us that there might actually be a further render distance or an option to turn the fog off in Micro Pocket Edition. As you can see, it look, looks beautiful. Um, so that's one of the things they're, uh, that's probably going to be added to 0.8.0, uh, is that, the, you know, you can make a further render distance or a fog on and off option, which would be pretty cool. And yeah, so it, uh, I'm excited for that as well. All right, so this isn't exactly confirmed 100%, but there might be some new controls in 0.8.0, which would allow sneaking and sprinting. Um, now, a lot of people have the theory that they would add this by uh, the, adding the option of double tapping when double tapping forward to run and double tapping back to uh, sneak. Now, as you can see right here on this page, there isn't really too much info exactly talking about it. Uh, Johan said, if I get the time, I'll do pass. I'll do a pass on the controls for the next version. So I guess he will look over it. And someone asked him, right, Wi-Fi Creeper asked him, great, so what can we expect from new controls in the next new, next version? Can we expect new controls in a new version? And Johan replied, if there is time and they become better than what we have, then I guess he will add new controls with the possible you know, new features of adding sprint and sneaking. Now, as we all know, uh, when we're in Minecraft Pocket we're playing like that, stuff like that, we often see animals in the water just randomly swimming around and stuff like that. Um, you know, we see them on land as well, but we see them in water, and that was actually a bug uh, that they're planning to fix in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, the description of the bug is, all the animals in the world seem to have a preference for sea over land. Please fix. Um, means I have to dive underwater to collect drops from difficult, uh, and they're difficult to herd. So what they're planning to do is finally fix this, you know, uh, make it so that there's no sh animals. The animals are just smarter, and the hostile mobs are also smarter, and they don't just go like randomly going into the water for no reason and stuff like that. So I mean, it'll be cool. Uh, I guess we'll make it um, easier for us to collect wool and stuff like that if the sheep aren't just like floating around in the water. So I think that's a pretty cool option uh, or a pretty cool thing they're going to be adding in the new update. All right, guys. So now we're moving on to the tweaks um, for this update, and the first thing is that the shadows now will move depending on the position of the sun, which is really cool. It's actually an exclusive feature, I believe, for Pocket Edition, so that's really awesome. I just It's cool that they're adding this you know, ex exclusive feature. I'm actually not sure if it's exclusive entirely for Pocket Edition or just exclusive for mobile uh, gaming. For example, there's the Pi Edition and there's um, just other versions. I'm not sure exactly, so that'll be really awesome, I think. Uh, there's also the possibility based on the tweets or the picture he tweeted out earlier that it'll be lighter colored water and sky. Um, uh, there's also the fact that you know, the sea might fade to non-transparent in the distance. Um, and as we know, the new tweak is, or the new addition is that redstone ore will now, will now drop um, redstone dust when it's mined. So that's really cool. Uh, there'll be a transparent hotbar. So as you can know, the hotbar, you know, on the bottom where you select all your different things. That'll be now kind of sort of transparent uh, when, and stuff like that. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so the next possible feature could be, or tweak, uh, could be that the animals and mobs and the overall characters, as, you know, like Steve and Microbactrogen, might have smoother edges, no longer like a complete box or something like that. Not, not even, uh, still a box, but just smoother overall. And um, as you can see, Tommaso Cecchi actually tweeted out a picture in a tweet saying, Oh, box pig, you are so smooth. This bezel thing might make sense. Not sure if the smoother, smoother edges are good for Minecraft, though, so as we know, in Minecraft... Um, nothing's really round, it's all, you know, pixelated and blocky and stuff like that. 
uh, you know, I think he's just making a joke there, but what he's trying to do is just make the, you know, the mobs and the characters and overall just smoother so they look better. It, it's cool how he's you know, just trying to make the game overall better. Another tweak will be that fire and lava will now ignite TNT. And how we know this is because some guy asked him, uh, Mao Life Marks, and he was like, are you planning on making TNT explode when lava comes close to it in the any near future update? You could make cool things with it or some, something like that, uh, like traps maybe is, is what he's talking about. And Tommaso Cecchi simply responded, it's already in 0.8.0, but anyhow 0.8.0 will have flint and steel and creative, so that might be useless. I'm not sure what he's referring to, but um, it's really cool. It's really cool that he's going to finally add uh, the options like for a real... Like, you know, if lava came too close to TNT, I'm not sure if it actually explode, but whatever, whatever, guys, it's just making the game cooler, and thank you, Tommaso Cesci, for trying. Also, another thing, as we know, will be Flint and Steel in creative mode, like, once again, I mentioned um, previously. Um, another tweak could be sideways wood blocks, so I guess if you place wood blocks a certain way, they'll go sideways. Johan tweeted this out, he's like, finally working the way it should, and he posted the pictures you can see right here of wood just sideways. I'm not sure what that's for, maybe it's for certain looks or something like that, but it's pretty cool. Um, it's a pretty cool feature and stuff like that, so Johan, keep working on that, and we'll, you know, see you and see how this works in the future. Another feature, another t another tweak that might be added in Minecraft Pocket Edition is the fact that there might be 3D clouds now, which is a kind of cool feature. It's gonna make it feel more PC-like, I guess, and yeah. Also, another thing is, I'm not exactly sure where the proof is, but they are saying that the gravel texture might change from the Micropoxition gravel texture to the actual PC gravel texture, the new gravel texture. As you can see, the different textures right here, uh, the one on the left is the Pocket Edition 1, the one on the right is the PC texture. They might change it uh, to the PC one to make it, I guess, better looking or something like that, which will be pretty cool. We make it, you know, feel more PC-like. That is, I think, what they are aiming for overall. Um, the next thing is they're actually going to be changing birch leaves textures from, uh, as you can see right here, the two textures right here, um, from this thick green look and this, I don't know, this greener bushy look uh, to this uh, darker, I guess you could say, or more, I don't know, it's just, it's, just, it's not as, there's not enough, there's less saturation as you can see, um, but it actually for some reason it looks better on the trees, so you can see the leaves and just look different on birches and on the normal trees so it's pretty cool and that's and one last thing is that mip maps and anhistoric filtering now i'm not exactly sure what this is but i do remember that mip maps uh, what they're planning to add or tomaso is planning to add in 0.8.0 is this thing called mip maps and what mip maps does is like for example in pocket edition if you've ever looked at something from far away uh, you might see like this these little like lines these glitches whatever you know they just make they just pop up uh, whenever you move, it's just it's, a, it's something weird. I might have to get a screenshot or like a little gameplay clip I might put in the background um, Just so you guys can see how it looks like but mid maps pretty much just just removes that makes it look smoother uh, when you're gonna be doing that and it's just an overall cool tweak and That's pretty much it for all tweaks and for the new additions micro pocket edition now we're gonna move on to the last part um, Which is the bug fixes before we do that? Most probable release date for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Alright, so the first glitch is the MCP1524. It originally affected the 0.6.0 version, as you can see right here. And pretty much the description is you can see through clouds. When you fly above a cloud in creative or something like that, that you, when you look down, the clouds are just, you know, they're, they're see-through. You can see through them. And apparently that's, you know, I think that's a, apparently that's a bug. Apparently you're not supposed to see anything. Um, and they're planning to remove that, you know, fix it up. So that's one of the bugs. The next bug is... MCPE uh, 5411 and it's falling creative at world low. So for example if you're in creative and you know, I guess you just quit the game when you're floating When you go back to the game it automatically automatically drops you So what the bug fix will do is prevent that you know whenever you leave when you're like in midair when you come back You'll stay in midair another glitch as you can see um, Is the MC or another bug is the MCP 347? It's a weird texture uh, some kind of weird pattern on bricks when you look at them from far away as you can see by all these pictures in the background, or the pictures in the background, and it just looks weird. And they're gonna fix that. I guess they're gonna make it look better somehow. I'm not exactly sure. Um, next bug fix is MCPE 2804. Fire does not ignite TNT. Um, using lava to create fire and stuff like that. As we already know, Tommaso said that he would be fixing this. You know, he'd make it so lava ignites TNT. So that was one of the bug fixes. It originally affected version 0.7.0. So hopefully, um, I mean, it will be fixed, and it's already fixed, actually. Uh, so that's pretty cool. 
Um, the next bug is MCP-4887 and it's skeletons missing lower part of body, uh, their body. And I'm not exactly sure, I've never actually seen this myself, but apparently uh, on iPad 2 on iOS, if you go on Minecraft and uh, see a skeleton, it's missing part of its body. Um, and it's hopefully going to be fixed. Uh, I mean, it's already, it is already fixed. And you can see in the background, the skeleton looks kind of weird. And now for the last bug is spiders have no abdomen. Uh, now what this is, is the spiders just don't have a butt, I guess you could say. Um, the back of them is just non-existent, it's like another thing. Uh, with the skeleton, part of their body is just missing. Um, as you can see in the picture below, uh, it's, just, it's just missing. I'm not, it's, it's, it, apparently it only affects Android, so on, I haven't experienced it myself since I'm on iOS. But that is how it looks like. And that's pretty much it for the bug fixes for Minecraft Pocket Edition. We've gone through the additions, we've gone through the tweaks, the bug fixes, and now the most probable release date. You can see here, Jay Ben Hartson, um, or Johan Ben Hartson on Reddit said, uh, was responding to somebody and he said that, um, the person asked them when will, um, Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.8.0 be released, when will it be updated on the App Store, and Johan responded with perhaps around MyCon like November. So, Pretty much that just leaves it any time uh, during November. I'm not exactly sure when Minecon is. I think it's on the 10th or somewhere around that. So just expect it uh, early, mid to early, late November. Sometime in November is what we're looking at. The most probable release say for, for Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.8.0. Um, that's not a 100% thing, but um, no exact date. It's it's really it's really rough. Um, it's, it's really not um, something we can you know just look at and say, oh, this is going to be the release date. We just got to look at it and say, November, somewhere in November. We don't know where, we don't know when, we don't know how, but that is what Johan is aiming at. He's aiming at for November for 0.8.0. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video has been really long and it took a long time to make, so leaving a thumbs up will be appreciated. And if you want to subscribe, uh, you can do it as well, like, since I make like micro production videos, you want to watch them. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and you know, got informed, filled with info, and uh, for Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.8.0, uh, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of new features, a lot of new things are being added. I think Realms will be finally officially up. I'm not, I'm not 100% thinking about that. I think that, that, that might be for 1.0. Not exactly sure, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace, next, you guys. Peace.